Hi friends, welcome to Topper Sinistro Daily Current Affairs. This is Vishapati. So let us discuss about some of the important current affairs which came newspapers on June 26, 2020. The first point is here. Government of India, Union Health and Family Welfare Minister and Union Health and Family Welfare Minister of the state that are two, uh, they released the Indian TB report, India TB report 2020. The present Union Health and Family Welfare Minister is Dr. Arshavardhan. The present Union Health and Family Wel Minister of the state that is Ashwini Chaube. So these two minister ministers released this India TB report 2020. What is TB press? Tuberculosis. So uh, this report is, this TB report is uh, uh, prepared by the Central TB Division. Central TB Division prepared the report according to the directions of the one program is there. What is the program? You know that is a National TB Eradication Program. National TB Eradication Program to stop the, the spreading of the TB and to, to eliminate, to eradicate the TB is the purpose of the National uh, uh, TB eradication program actually according to the UNO according to the UNO according to the UNO declaration so that UNO declared uh, that is a sustainable develop, development goals to the projected the projected target is to reach the sustainable goals by the its member of nation 2030 so here also WHO put one target so in the world to eradicate the Eradication of the TB that is a projected target uh, projected target is 2030 but India put the target is to eradicate the TB in 2025 so before the world uh, that target uh, India that is a uh, before the 5 years 2025 and according to this report according to the India TB report 2020 prepared by the central TB division the best performing state that means best performing uh, states means to follow the measures, to follow the, the principles, to follow the, the what is the program is there, how to el eliminate, how to that uh, eradicate the TB, that measures are followed and implemented by the that states, so occupied the best performing states, according to this state, according to this India TB report, the three states, uh, that is Gujarat, Andhra Pradesh, Himachal Pradesh, possessed the uh, best performing states in top three rank. Gujarat occupied first place, uh, that is Andhra Pradesh second place, Himachal Pradesh third place. Not in the TB patients, friends. That is the best performing. How to eradicate the, how to eliminate the TB from its states. That is the best performing. You know. Yeah, then uh, and uh, according to that Indian TB report 2021 point also there. That is the, uh, that is a Nixie system also implemented by the government of India to detecting the uh, that TB patients all over the India. Nikshay, Nikshay means knee, N-I, knee means end, Kshay means that is the Kshaya, that means a TB. So this is a Nikshay system, it is the online portal, it is a web portal to detect the TB patient. Uh, patient. So what type of the question expecting from this manner? Okay, now Nikshay system is belongs to, that means to eliminate the TB and uh, using the web portal by the government of India. So, uh, uh, what is the target? What is the target to eradicate the TB or tuberculosis in India by the government of India? That is the 2025. What is the world target? That means world world health organization target is 2030 all over the world. World health organization about the world health organization. The headquarter located in Geneva in Switzerland, and the present director general of the uh, WHO world health organization is. Uh, uh, Tedras Adhanam Gabriosis. Recently, WHO is in the news uh, re recently uh, because that America, so America President Donald Trump announced officially, so we are quit from the, we are the terminating from the relation with the WHO, like that they commented. And uh, that is the reason WHO is in the news. And next point is here, next to that point, uh, Puneja Bridge. So Puneja Bridge, this is located in the Doda district of the, uh, the uh, Jammu Kashmir. Devika Bridge, this is in Udampur of the Jammu Kashmir. These two bridges, these two bridges are inaugurated by the virtually, virtually, that means a video conference by the so Union Ministry of the State, that is Jitendra Singh. So Jitendra Singh inaugurated these two bridges in Jammu Kashmir through virtual, through video conference. So Jitendra Singh, the present, that is the Northeastern State Development Minister of the State is Dr. Jitendra Singh. 
and Jitendra Singh elected as a Lok Sabha member from the Udampur constituency in Jammu Kashmir. So whatever the question expecting from this man. So recently Pune Bridge, Devika Bridge inaugurated. Uh, that is located in which of the state, which of the union territory that is a Jammu Kashmir. So Jammu Kashmir, so union territory with the separate that state would also there. And that the present Jammu Kashmir Lieutenant Governor. The present Jammu Kashmir Lieutenant Governor is Giri Chandra Murmu. So Giri Chandra Murmu is the Jammu Kashmir Lieutenant Governor. And then second, the next point is Mukhya Mantri Shramiki Yojana. So what is Mukhya Mantri Shramiki Yojana, you know? So like that, uh, before uh, earlier classes we discussed, the first state in India provide the unemployment, provide the employment to the, provide the employment to the urb, uh, urban poor. That is by the Kerala. That is the Ayankali uh, Urban Employment Guarantee Scheme implemented by the Kerala state. Like that here also, here also, that is a Jharkhand state, Jharkhand state started one program, that is a Mukhya Mantri Shramiki Yojana. This is also meant for like Kerala, like uh, that is Ayankali, uh, that is urban employment pro pro program, like program, this is a Shramiki Yojana, Mukhya Mantri Shramiki Yojana, provide the employment, 100 days employment to the urban poor is the purpose of this program. So not only that, not that is rural poor, you know. There is urban poor. For the rural poor, that government of uh, central government program is there. Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Guarantee Scheme here. Mukhya Mantri Shramiki Yojana is meant for the, this program is utilized by the, it, for the utilization of the urban poor and provide the 100 days employment to the urban poor. So that is the Mukhya Mantri Shramiki Yojana started by the, launched by the Jharkhand, Jharkhand CM Emant Soren started this program. And yes, Shramik, the one abbreviation is there for the Shramik. Shahari. Shahari means that is a city. Shahari, Rozgar, Manjuri for Kamgar. Kamgar means that is the workers. So Shra Shahari, Rozgar, Manjuri for the Kamgar. This is the abbreviation of the Shramik. And then uh, next program that is a, uh, that is a Mukhya Mantri Matru Pushti Upahar scheme. Mukhya Mantri. Mukhya Mantri. Matru Pushti Upahar Scheme. This program is launched by the Tripura CM Biplo Kumar Dev. So Biplo Kumar Dev started this program. Provide the so nutri nutrition kits to the provide the nu nutrition kits to the kids kids nutrition kits to the pregnant and lactating lactating women is the uh, that is the motto or purpose of this program. Mukhya Mantri Matru Matru means in motherhood Matru. That is Pusti Upahar scheme. Provide the nutri nutrition in the manner of the kids. Provide the kids by the government of the Tripura to the that pregnant women and the lactating women. So that is delivered women also. So this is the Mukhya Mantri Matru Pusti Upahar scheme Tripura. What type of the question expecting from this area? Recently Tripura state started one program. Provide the nutrition kids to the uh, pregnant and lactating women, what is the name of the, that program? Mukhya Mantri Matru Pushti Upahar Scheme that is launched by the Tripura CM Biplo Kumar Dev. And next, Niti Aayog and the International Transport Forum of the Organization of the Economic Cooperative Development, these two organizations launched one program. The purpose of the program is, the pur 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 purpose of the program is, Low carbon transport system development. Development of the low carbon transport system. Low carbon transport system means while transporting the that goods we are using the vehicles. So vehicle that means reducing the carbon emissions of the purpose of this program. Reducing the carbon emissions means using the that uh, biofuels, using the uh, that is the that less emissions of the carbon em emitted tools. That is the development of this purpose. The, the program name is here DTWE. The abbreviation is important here. DTWE. What is DTWE? You know? Decarbonizing. Decarbonizing transport in engineering economies. Decarbonizing transport in engineering economies. That is the abbreviation. This program is launched by the, these two organizations. International Transport, System, Transport Forum of the Organization for Organization of Economic Cooperative Development, Organization of the Economic Cooperative Development and the NITEL, so National Institution for the Transforming India. 
these two organizations started this program. So about Niti Aayog, already we discussed so many times. The present chairman of the Niti Aayog is Prime Minister Narendra Modi. And the present deputy chairman of the Niti Aayog is Rajiv Kumar. The present chief executive officer of the Niti Aayog is Amitabh Kant. And then FETF. FETF. Recently the FETF meeting conducted virtually video conference. The present head of the, the present, the which country stood the chairmanship of the FETP, you know, that is the China. So China, from the next, that uh, September onwards, so in the place of the Ch China, Germany occupied the, will occupy the chairmanship to the FETF. So FETF, there is an organization located in Paris, the purpose of the FETF, you know, uh, to give the grey list, black list like that. If the a country will get the grey list. If the country will get the grey list, the country with the get the grey list that will have the difficulty to getting the uh, financial assistance from the IMF and World Bank, ADB and European Union like agencies. Okay, now the uh, Pakistan. So in uh, yesterday that F FATF meeting, Pakistan remains uh, uh, that uh, FATF gave grey list. Grey list means it is uh, unable to prove the. Because of this, then one allegation is there. Pakistan uh, gave the financial assistance to the so many terrorist organizations. That is the reason here Pakistan get the, uh, got the grey list. So, so that is the reason uh, re uh, what type of the question expecting from this area. Recently, a few team meeting conducted. Which country get the, uh, got the grey list that because of the allegation to, to assistance to the that, uh, terrorist by the Pakistan. So, uh, the what, what happened if the country will get the grey list? It is the uh, difficult to getting the uh, financial assistance to the International Monetary Fund, World Bank, Asian Development Bank and European Union like agencies. Uh, okay, this is about the FATF Financial Action Task Force. The abbreviation of the FATF is Financial Action Task Force. And next to that is the sports. The one bit is, but my point is there. So that the MCC is there. What is MCC? You know, there is an organization located in London. It is a cricket club. Merrillbone Cricket Club. Merrillbone. Merrillbone Cricket Club. The present president of the Merrillbone Cricket Club is Kumara Sangakara, who belongs to that, uh, Sri Lanka. And the, the term of a president of the Merrillbone Cricket Club, it is about one year. About one year. So, uh, Kumara Sangakara regarded as a, got the record, the first non-Britisher occupied the president of the Melbourne Cricket Club his uh, term will be his term uh, will be completed in September 2021 20, September 20, 2021 from the October 1st 2021 to September 30 2022 that means the president of the Melbourne Cricket Club is one year so one person is appointed she is the first she is a is a uh, England woman cricketer he also worked as a captain of the England women cricket team and she recognized that the first woman will be occupied the post of the president of the Melbourne Cricket Club is that is a Claire Connor. So Claire Connor, the first woman will be occupied the president of the Melbourne Cricket Club from October 1, 2021 to September 30, 2021. So what is MCC friends? Melbourne Cricket Club. So these are the some of the important current events which came newspapers on June 26, 2020. So thank you friends, we will meet again tomorrow.